Fresh Mike, you're on the air. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Hey, Howard. What hey, is now. going on? Howard, hey, what is going on here? There's only, hey, you know, there's only one person that should be going to answer that, okay? And that should be John. Why are you sending Robin there for us? I'm Should not sending drink? anybody. Nobody's sending anybody. I have nothing to do with this. Well, I mean, why isn't it that John's going? What are you guys John doing to him? Why, why, why are you guys trying to keep him down for? Please. Keep him down? He canceled. He was supposed he to go. Canceled? Yeah, he canceled? That's was not what he said when I was on hold. Because he's an idiot. He decided not to go. What is? What else was? What other possible explanation would there be? Uh, you're trying to keep him down. Uh, what? You're, 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 oh, you're full of it. You're he lying. You're, yeah, you're, you're putting that. the you're pushing the button on his mic. What? what oh, ahead. he never said that. He no. The, the, is this John from another room? I don't know, but I heard you were yelling at him in the hall. That was the talk. I, I didn't have time to get into it yesterday. I had to leave, but I heard there was a big blowout in the halls. Well, he you, uh, decides to make him. fun of me because I'm trying to clean up his mess. He's laughing about My me mess. going on the trip because I'm I'm cleaning up she, for him. She's so crazy, man. It's so, fine. She's fine. so not cured. It's so sad. You are such a... I don't even want to talk about what a what a scummy individual she came, he is. Tell me about this, Robin. I need to know. It sounds like well, a good story. He wanted nothing more than to be involved with Heineken. Oh, Heineken, Heineken, Heineken. I want, why can't I be Heineken's person? Why doesn't Heineken recognize me? Right. So finally, somehow or other, he winds up at a lunch with the Heineken people, with Gary, and right. that's where this trip evolved from. So, so John, so John was the impetus. There was for never going to be a trip. No, 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 no. That, that's not true. They offered the trip as but one of the was, things. But it was. It came out of that lunch. So, so what? And it was to you so and I, Gary. I decided I didn't want to go, but I, I don't and know why you, me and you are now connected at this were Heineken thing. You involved in it for how many months did you tell him you were going? I thought I was going up until a month and a half out, which was enough time for them to, you know, you know, <laughs> right. not, they didn't book me a flight. I didn't <laughs> cost them well, wait, wait, wait a second. So right. I don't understand something. So you so feel you're taking the trip? John backed out of the trip, right. and the people at the station, for some reason or other, were running around trying to replace him in the trip. They wanted someone else to go. Right. Well, you're and not a valid Do you not want to go? You I know, this is what are I'm a piece of crap, hey, and, and you don't even belong on John's shoe, and he's a piece of crap. Hey, Howard, since when... Uh, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I don't have, Howard, I have never heard Robin talk about Heineken in my life. I've never heard her even... And I've never heard anybody mention... Well, maybe if Heineken I go, bottle. I will be John able to talk about Heineken it. John bottle. bottle. I know. Robin, are you... Well, well, so she can visit the brewery and report back better than John could. Do, are you saying... <laughs> I would rather take John's words than Robin's <laughs> words, because Robin sugarcoats everything for her own pleasure. All right, all right one second. I, I, you have your agenda, You're but I want to understand something. So John backs out of the Heineken trip. Mm -hmm. You felt you had to say yes to Heineken? No, I didn't feel I had to say yes, but it sort of worked out that there was some interest from the people in my life to go, so I said, okay, I'll go. So Are you upset that you have to go? It's not something I was planning to do, but I certainly don't want to be ridiculed by John for doing it. So you're upset with him because he ridiculed you? Yeah, that was the only time I said anything to him. Uh, you know what? You know oh, what? Howard, like some Howard, great trip. <laughs> Howard, did you rid ridicule Robin? We were yeah. all sitting around goofing because she got this itinerary. No, we weren't doing anything. Now, it wasn't only you me. Were. It wasn't only me. You Robin got, I heard Robin got the itinerary. Yes. And, and was upset that it was a little too jam packed. That was one of the reasons why I didn't want to go. I just knew it was going to be a big appearance for three days. All right. So, I, you know, so, out of my vacation, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to like. So Robin's upset about it. So you goof on her? No, I wasn't she had upset a long itinerary, it. which is one of the things he I was said. Goofing on the fact. Oh, sounds like a great trip. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, Oh, get out of my face, you stupid asshole. You said that. <laughs> I missed. I said it. something oh. much worse no, than no, that. No. Actually, I missed it. I missed it. <laughs> no, you missed the real um, fireworks, Howard. She came. But she's the right. I see. The way you explained it to me. Because he came running in. Oh yeah, I'm going to oh, tell oh, on oh, you. Is what right. he said to me. Right. <laughs> he says say to me. He says to me. Robin, you see, he 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 changes the whole story. Oh, I didn't. He does. Yes, you did. Because How? he wants you to think you that said I'm crazy. Robin's yeah. so upset that her itinerary is so oh, busy and packed you. up. No, no, that's not that, what I said. That this is what you said. No, I'll tell you what I said. I, I, oh, I heard you. I said she's blaming me yes. because she's going to Heineken. Yeah, but that's not what she said. That's saying. what she said in the office. She's blaming you that you're ridiculing her. You missed what she said in the office. I'm blaming you that you created this thing. The station's running around trying to replace you. You make a mess, and they feel responsible, and they want to somehow fix it. So I'm doing it, and then you ridicule me. That's for a it. different story than what you told wait me, a John. Second. I'm laughing because. Like, oh, why wait are you, a second! Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing at her? 
I'm laughing. She's doing you a because favor. Because before she agreed no, to go. No, nobody does anything for John. Harry. John she, is the oh, most important human it being on earth. In <laughs> fact, the reason he turned down this trip, Heineken's never done anything um, for me. That's not why I'm That's honey. exactly what you said. Oh, you're, you, you know what? You were really crazy. You know, you got to go back to therapy. You said it, John. You got to go back to therapy. You said it. No, oh, I didn't. Don't sit there and pull I, the I, therapy you card, Mr. Seriously. Mr. Pharmaco medicated. No, I'm not medicated anymore. With your own pharmacist. No, I'm not. Mr. Didn't you have a pharmacist you know Robin, on, on uh, Robin, staff no, I for don't. you so that you could get your Luvox and whatever no. the hell else Xanax. you've taken? Xanax. And Robin, let's face it, the display of anger that uh, you showed to the interns and everyone. I, people, I only spoke people were to you. scared by only your spoke to you. tirade. Only and by the way, Howard, to you. when she was in there, she didn't, she's saying, I'm doing this trip for you. Like somehow she's suddenly doing said, me a here favor. Here he goes again. No, here no, he goes no, no, again. no. I said, here's don't what, you here's dare what I ridicule understand. me for oh. having to clean up your mess. Yeah, you like you're doing. mf'er. That's exactly oh, that's right. what I said. Yeah, and she used the F word. You did. And you called me a mother effort. That's, that's right. right. And 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 Howard, Robin, I'm, you're not doing me any favors by doing uh, nobody Heineken does trip. you any favors. This station doesn't pay you. Heineken's I, never done anything well, for you. You're the responsible well, for everything. Hey, around I'm the biggest here. Heineken supporter going. I've never oh, received please. anything ever for for saying how much and I why love should Heineken. You? I'm not saying I should. But you're, I'm, I'm, now you're the guy who goes around saying Jackie I, used to get things from Heineken. Yeah, yeah, I want to get in with them. I would love to get in with them. But if if this burned the bridge with Heineken, then fine. So be it. I'm still going to drink it. Right. All right. But I still uh, I, I, I think Howard, find I, it funny. That, it's not funny because because she's going. Yeah, you're not. So what are you going to sit there and goof on her about it for? She was. You reading, should just keep your mouth shut. Somebody uh, else might. Oh have God something forbid! To somebody say. make fun of you, Robin. Somebody else you might have You sit there and make fun say. of everybody you on this should show. Keep your God stupid forbid, mouth shut. God forbid somebody stupid finds your life mouth, funny. Stupid yeah. mouth. You, yeah. King of the. You could say everything you can to everybody else. You could ridicule everybody you want, but God forbid somebody ridicules you. God forbid somebody ridicules. Happy Fourth of July. Uh, you can ridicule hey, me for what I do. Yeah, well, you're going. But don't I, it's, ridicule it sounds me to me, for what I do for you. It sounds to me you, you be mad at ever. X because X wants to go, and then you're probably mad oh, at him too. Shut up. Now, look, you can't be made fun of, and it is going to be funny oh, while you're doing your twelfth appearance with Gary. Right, and right, right. I'm going to yeah, be laughing my yeah. ass off. You know people. what? I wish I could crap in your mouth. I'm going to be laughing my ass. I wish I could see that. Right. I'm going to be laughing my ass. Right. Good. I hope you enjoy yourself. And yeah, eight yeah. Don't eight call o'clock me brunch. anymore when you. I, I don't know, Howard. It's not to like the fat robber was a lot jollier. And you don't know what Howard will think of it. Don't call my number. I didn't call your number. I said, don't call my number the when next did I time. I call your ha- number. You You're don't not call me, John, and ask me what, 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 what should I do now. Yeah, you already brought that up when you weren't supposed to. What? You already brought that up. I remember you said that I, I, the, 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 that I said to you that. I, yeah. <laughs> what? What? You know what? <laughs> Obviously, nothing's confidential with you anyway. What? So weird. Didn't. I kept your secrets for, for, for years. And I haven't kept any secrets of yours. You I don't have any right now. You probably do. But are you going to start throwing them out? I didn't say throw anything out, about Robin. throwing anything out. I simply said, don't call me the next time you screw up and don't so, know what right, Howard will think. You know, I won't because you're actually obviously hanging it over my head because I made fun of your Heineken itinerary. I'm itinerary. Simply it's saying so important. you it make was so me impor- sick and, and I'm tired way, of you and, by the way, Robin, and all of your problems. I wasn't the only one laughing about your Heineken itinerary. I didn't have a problem with anybody else. But it's just me. you do it when I'm doing this because of you. You were laughing, too. I didn't too. say when you said I don't want to go to Heineken, oh, I'll do you it. You were laughing about it, too. Uh, you were laughing about just it. Just get off my... John, just don't even be in my space, okay? I'm not. You're behind... Get out of my face. <laughs> you're behind the glass. <laughs> you're still in my face. Get out of my face. Well, let me I say... I can't even stand to look at him, and I hadn't said anything about it until then. Right. What do you mean? You were yelling at me. I said I hadn't said... Ugh. You know what? I, I can't stand how dense he is. Listen. I have been pissed about it since you turned them Howard, down. You know, I'm but I be, never said Howard. anything because it's none of my business. Is it normal that I'm, I'm responsible for her going to hide no, again? That's not what she's saying. She's not saying you're responsible. She's saying you, you turned down the Heineken trip. Yes. Robin would never even be involved in any of this. She didn't go to any lunch. She did. All right. You turned and down the Heineken trip. And my wife didn't want to go to. It set, it set off a chain reaction where Heineken felt spurned. And Heineken is a dear sponsor of ours. Wait, Howard, that before you say pays that, our bills. I spoke to Tom about it. I said, listen. No, no, no. Look, just just want you don't know. listen. You, want, you asked me for an interpretation. Well, I just want you to know the facts. I know what happened. I know you turned down the trip. And I know I that. I cleared it with Tom. I know you did. You did all the right things. All right. And guess who came to me and offered me the trip? Yeah, because they're just offering you a trip. They're not saying you have to they go. They didn't offer me this trip because they, they needed it. 
or I mean, they didn't need it. They wouldn't have been looking for anybody. If it was okay that you dropped the trip, they would have gone on and just sent Gary. But they were looking for somebody yeah, else. Yeah, they had somebody else they could bring. So they could come back oh, and report on Gary. This other people want oh, to go. Please. You didn't have to go. Yeah, Brian could have gone. Maybe Benji would have went. Yeah, well, that makes a big difference. All right, listen. Well, I don't think you're upset that you're going on the trip. No. I don't think you're upset I that... I just don't want John goofing on it. You're upset that he goofs on you. Yeah, because it's all about him. I'm not even in this if it's not for him. Okay. In other words, in other words, this came about out of your luncheon. Just listen to my explanation. Yeah, I got you. I got this you. came about as of your luncheon. Right. I don't even so, know why you would try to explain it to him. So then, it doesn't matter. So but it's just fun. So then, because he doesn't get it anyway. He's so a, then, he's a blockhead. It you came talk a, into a wall. It came a wall about. You made a few jokes. jokes. Listen to me. It it's came so about. It came about because of you. Yeah. So now that she's having a problem with her itinerary and stuff, I didn't she even have a problem with the itinerary. Perceived that no, problem. No, she was complaining about the itinerary. Uh, here right. we go. So, so the point is that you come in and just to compound it, you're the guy. You're the reason this and all it wasn't started. Even on the air, Howard. This right. was off in the, the air. room when we're doing commercials, and we're not even on the air. So this instead is a of personal goof. So instead of just like kind of sitting there and not even really being part of it, you have to insert yourself. And begin the goofing process. When, and when someone's stressed out, you start the goofing process and ignite a fire under her ass. That's a great premise. It had she nothing was, to do with. Was, I, she was it pissed had off. nothing she was laughing to do too. with stressed out. I simply don't. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for John. So the nerve of him to go, Wait, ha ha ha! You're again, going on a rotten trip that I created. Howard, but here's the right. falsity. I wasn't. The trip's not because of me. No, no, no. She wants to go on the trip. It's, She's saying it all came about because of you. Thank you. Wonderful. She's going to Amsterdam. But to have you goof on the quality of the trip is unsettling because, A, it came about because of your it's interest. It's your trip. It's your trip. And she is doing this because she doesn't need a free trip. She's doing it because also Heineken is our sponsor. Well, I've been pretty, I mean, what, what do you mean? I mean, uh, so she's saving the sponsors? She's saving no, her? well, she is in a sense, yes. She's doing, uh, she's doing uh, something uh, well, good. Uh, you know, well, I haven't. For, I, I don't talk about Heineken every single time. doesn't matter. Again. I'm saying she didn't want to be goofed on by you. Sometimes you don't read the situation. Okay, she doesn't want to be goofed on. That's all she said. I got you. That's it. But you're gonna. F then you start fighting. I didn't even know she was mad, no, Howard. She start fighting. He went and said, I, 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 "Howard, I didn't know she was mad." She came into the office screaming. The interns were scared. I, she the interns. Don't worry, I, John. Ask stop our, pretending that you our, care about anybody else. Ask our, this is about the, you. The whole buzz was this she came into the office and was screaming at me. They enjoyed me screaming at you. This is about you. No, it was just very shocking. Nobody's scared. Everybody's here. Okay, today. but I didn't know Howard that she was mad at me until that moment. Well, I, how else would you know? Somebody has to tell you you dope because you're stupid. It's oh, crap. Look at all the insults you're Jeez, throwing at me. So it's bitter. unbelievable. Well, John, this it's is the only I thing. Get, this is the only thing that gets through to you, evidently. You don't you know listen what, Howard, to her. Guess she what? said, back off. Guess what? I'm not going to stop laughing at something that was funny. And it was funny. So what, what, I, sh I should not yeah, laugh at it. Yeah, it would be funny to you that you uh, crapped on a sponsor and I'm I didn't crap on a sponsor. Oh, F funny. you. I crapped on a sponsor. I turned John. down that's a free a, trip. I crapped on them. That's absolutely hysterical. I, I turned down a free trip. I crapped on them. That's absolutely hysterical. God, I, it's amazing. You, I, you're crazy. All right. You okay. can't laugh at Robin. It's not about me, John. It's simply that when you make a mess of something and somebody's cleaning up for you, you know what, really, Howard? If you're a psychologist, what it really comes down to, she doesn't want to go, and, and now she's lashing out at me because of yes, I'm going to analyze that out it. To you. Analyze it. If, if you are a therapist, analyze, 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 analyze. it. She doesn't like, want to go, fine. and she's mad at me like, because I, I turned it down. That's what it really comes down to. You're missing the point. No, 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 no. If no, you're a no, therapist, no, 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 it's no. more than just goofing on. First of all, you keep you're saying therapist. You're man. you're on medication. No, I'm not. I'm you, not. You, not you right today. You're I haven't so been on medication funny. in a year. Why he, do you have to keep calling her crazy? It doesn't she, matter. This, this, is, never this is crazy it. behavior. Why do you have to call someone crazy? Why don't you just say, you know what? I understand you don't want to be goofed on about your trip. That's Howard, it, if she done. came up to me in a normal manner and to pull me aside hate and you, said, John. "I don't know, people don't hate me." Yeah, there are two people who we voted just did the poll. No, Scott was kidding. There was two a one person who voted. Yeah. No, Scott oh was kidding. God. Scott's Scott my had friend. To say he was kidding. Scott crap. wasn't kidding. No, yes, he was kidding. Scott he totally does was hate kidding. You. Didn't tell me that. Say it. Well, that's what he told me. And 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 big deal. And, and another person wouldn't even confront you. They hate you so much. Yeah, because I don't know them. I don't know them. Whoever it was. What do you mean you don't know them? You don't know who it is. How do you know you don't know them? Because every any friend I have, it wasn't.
John, what? you don't know who it was. It could have been a so-called friend. And he's calling Sorry. me crazy. Look at all right, the so, logic. All right, so one person in the office doesn't like me. I should kill myself, Robin. I didn't I'm say sure that. I'm sure if we took the poll on you, it would be I didn't say that. I'm just saying this is one. exactly why. If we took the poll on you, it would be at least one. Exactly in fact, if we took all the answer. old interns that we hear, there'd be about 12 to 13 yeah, people who don't like Robin's you. Your argument is Robin's crazy. Mister, what did he take? Xanax? Robin's other things he's taking. Can you believe this? If we took a poll on people who like you, are you kidding me? Are Don't you kidding me? The amount of people you yell at. Why arm. do you? Why are you now arguing over who likes who better? Because she brought. I didn't bring it up. She brought it up. The point is. The point is. Yeah. You turned down a trip. Yeah. The trip became available. Robin's not complaining about getting the trip. She's she thrilled was. to go. She's thrilled to go. When the itinerary comes back or whatever. If something was bothering her about the trip, you're there to laugh at her One and of it bothers her Howard. because you're the reason this whole Heineken thing and came out. I had to lunch with Rob. He doesn't understand. This is specifically about him. Uh, specifically about you him. You get under and her skin. And then he's going to say, uh, oh, it's only me. No, I no, Howard, can I just say this? You? No, Howard. you can't goof when you cause me a problem. When, when, when Rob and I had lunch talking about this Heineken thing, I said one of the reasons why I don't want to do it is the itineraries. I know it's going to be a big itinerary, right? Mm -hmm. So when she came up and complained about the itinerary, it was funny because that was one of the things that I said to her I wouldn't go. I laughed. We, we made a joke or two. But you know it sets her off. But she was laughing. It doesn't set she was, me she, off. She was he jovial about it. It's no big deal. It's simply that this is his trip. <laughs> it's not my trip. I'm taking it for him. And then he says, ha, ha, ha. Sounds like it's going to be great. <laughs> but th th we were kidding. We weren't doing anything. You were doing something. There's a few people laughing about it. I wasn't talking about them. I'm talking about you. I have no problem with anybody else doing whatever they want to do because they had nothing to do with this. If they want to laugh, that's fine. You I have a problem with because you don't care how we get paid, what goes on around here. Oh, God. You just Nobody do, talks you about Heineken more than me, Robin. Things, oh, get doing whatever here. you want to do. You see, you don't understand. When you yeah. accept a trip from Heineken yeah. and then you turn it down, yeah. Whether you know it or not, it is a perceived slap in the face to Heineken. Well, if why I even get well, started? Well, well, but you're why, not even listening. But why get started with Heineken in the first place? Because you want what Jackie had, right. whatever Jackie had. I don't. God only knows what Jackie was up to, uh, Mister Public Relations. I, I, you have this thing. I want. I want. I want what Jackie had. No, I would love to so be. So they a give you. Okay. So How's they. That? So you set up a trip. Because they drink it. So you set up a trip. Yeah. When you undo the trip, whether it's okay with Tom or anyone else. Heineken sees it as like, gee, we feel like schmucks. Yeah. Now, you don't see that. Right. He, I, I, it's, 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 all right, it's John, you throw it. Let me give it to you on terms no, so no, you no, can understand is, in is, your life. Yeah. Let, me, let me explain it to yeah. you. Now, you, I, ha you decide to have a party, yeah. and five people tell you they're not coming. Yeah. You take that as an insult. Not really. It's, oh, yes, yes, you it do. Does. You can't get over already, it. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, but you, you're not understanding. <laughs> yeah. You take it as an insult. You don't think Heineken has feelings, the people who work at Heineken? Guess what, Howard? If you want to really be honest about it, when I had that lunch... With Heineken, and I said, "Well, you, yeah, you know, you know, I talk about Heineken all the time." I, I drink. they go, "Really? You, we didn't know that." So, well, so, so what does that got to do? Was with that anything? like they even know I even care a drink or no? But you are there. You're promoting yourself as a big Heineken drinker. That you talk about them on the commercial. Yeah. They all go, right. "Wow, you seem like a good guy." So my wife didn't want to go. Right. So so so, and then okay, then, and then no, and no, then, no. You accepted the trip. Yeah. And then your wife decides she doesn't want to go, and yeah. you decided you didn't yes. want to go. Uh, yes. And then, you, then the uncomfortable call has to be made by a salesperson. We're turning down the trip. No, Gary's still always going. No, well, I'm not talking about I Gary. Don't. I'm talking about you. Yeah. So now what's turned into a goodwill mission now turns into someone having to call and say, hey, we don't want your trip. Yeah. It's like you having a party. I don't want to come to your party. You take it as like, hey. You don't like me. Well, if that's the case, I turn down plenty of appearances all, right. all the time that's for our different. sponsors. So but it, that's it, it, different. It, it, you, you accepted it first, and then you turned it down. Yeah. So, okay. So, fine. Their feelings were hurt. Well, so, people go around and say, let's go find someone else. Robin hears about it, is interested in doing it. She goes and does it. But this is a trip set up by, this is set into motion by you at your lunch. Do you understand that? Well, they, uh, but it wasn't my so idea. So, then she's back in the office. And she's, you know, whatever, rushing around, itinerary, whatever. It's, you know, and and, and you come in and go, I told you that ship's going to suck. <laughs> and then, boom, there's an electric explosion. No, it wasn't. It was a delayed reaction. Yeah, I said, it was you delayed, know what? Howard. She was I'm laughing. I'm going to save this because I'm busy right now, but I'm going to tell him how much he pisses me off since he's But not in a normal way. But not face. like a sane person pulling me aside and, and talk to me. Why should I have to be sane with you? Uh, You're so you, a jackass, so I have to treat so it, you well? Uh, all right.
Okay, Robin. So it's, it's okay to just go to and scream well. and tap your lungs in front of like. I have to treat you well because you're a jackass. Cursing and yelling Screw in you. front of like everyone Screw in the you office. And how you care yeah, about okay. how I treated you? And, and by the Do way, you Heine, care how Heine, you treat we Heineken Heine. or anyone else? Yeah, of course I care about. Screw Heine. you. And nobody, and how you feel. Oh, nobody talks about Heineken more than me. Screw how, you and how you when we feel. Were, when we were all kidding around, you need a Heineken. When we were all, I, I do. Right. We're I all, gotta go. I gotta go now. We were I've all had kidding enough. around. She was laughing too. Nobody knew it was. It was uh, if, if, if I thought I it was bothering, you. I would have stopped. It's you. It's not anybody else. I, I don't thought, mind Robin, anybody but you. If I thought it bothered you, I would have oh, stopped. Oh, screw you, John. Like I said, I know yeah. that you don't care about anybody but no, yourself. Okay, it doesn't go. bother oh, look me. Who's talking, and that's Mrs. why oh, I said it the way I did. If you were a decent human being, I would have approached you in a different way. Tim, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yo, John, I want you to shut the f up. You're voice is piercing in my brain, man. You see? You see how you're rubbing people the it wrong way? It's driving me crazy. I'm laying here trying to listen and enjoy the show like I do every morning, and it's making me insane. And I and I had all kinds of things planned. <laughs> I did. I really did. Mike, you're on the air. Yeah, what's up, Howard? Hey, John, man, you better take a chill pill, bro. Mr. X is going to come up there and kick your ass oh, and keep messing well, with I, Robin. Well, that would make sense. Yeah. David, you're on the Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Robin. I'm just trying to get to everyone. Go ahead, David. Hey, hello. Uh, yeah, I just want to say that was the longest Heineken commercial I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. And I love and, uh, Heineken. It brings people and, uh, together. Listen, Robin and John, I think, Heineken, you should uh, maybe just open up a nice cold Heineken and um, Heineken and... Uh, you know, you know what, maybe. if I have to open a Heineken right now, I'd break it on John's head. Andrew, go. That's how normal you are. Right, yeah. Please. Normal, normal, no. You know what? If you're the purveyor of what's normal, I'd rather not. I'm be. not the one saying I'm cured. I'd rather not. I'm be. not saying I'm cured, Robin. You are so be, far from I'd cured, sweetheart. I, that I'm a completely appropriate person and take my uh, anger out where it belongs. That's appropriate. Yes, I was okay. very. I was that angry at you. Andrew. So it's appropriate that you get it. Hey, <laughs> yes, Big you're. Fan. E -e -e -e. Mm -hmm. Hey, so don't you think uh, Heineken is secretly happy to get an upscale black woman <laughs> instead of a white trash guy who can't pronounce the name of a product? There you go. I love Heineken. All right, thank you. Cooley, you're on here. Again. Heineken. Cooley. What's up, buddy? Yep. Listen, I, I got to defend John. I think Robin's getting a little out of whack here. I think, you know, she's going off the edge here. You, Robin, you've known John for how many years? You're I've known him way too long. Uh, but you know what kind of stuff <laughs> Way too pull. long. He's Listen, finally got, gotten on my nerves. You're right. You, I should have noticed this a lot sooner. Too much sooner. pepper in your coffee. Listen. Too much pepper is, in your drink? <laughs> is it Whatever possible that is. too much pepper in the drink? I don't you, think you know it's that. You know for how many years. You know what he's going to do. you got to be prepared for it. You know, uh, you're right. Exploited. You're absolutely right. You know, Robin, after years of taking care of your cats and parking your years. car and you took care of my cats delivering your once. system, I can't believe. Oh, please. Well, now, you, you see what you're doing? You're trying to... Uh, Listen, I'm trying to... Add the she could rack up a few things she's done for you. Mike, go ahead. We both do things for each other. Mike, you're on here. John's doing nothing but rationalizing. Uh, Robin, Robin, stand up. You're definitely a good person. You guys should dump this faggot from the show. That, I'm not uh, a faggot. You're a faggot. You're nothing but a, uh, a grease ball. You, you, you should get a haircut and join the army or something. I got a haircut. Keith, you're on the air. Howard, I will come down here and pay you whatever you want if I can punch John right in the mouth. I'll tell you what. I, I don't care. I, I'll take Why don't you try it? Phone. Come down here and try it, and then I'll just kick your ass. You ain't gonna do nothing. I've knocked the stutter out of you. How much you want to bet? Gabby, that's for sure. I'll tell you what, a thousand dollars, I'll fight you. All right, Kevin, you're on the air. Yes, I just wanted to say that this was a lot better than the fireworks display I saw last night. Thanks a lot. Correct. <laughs> All right. Well, um, uh, I hear your pain, Robin. There's no pain. He's out of my life. You have him now. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm throwing him on because me. I laughed you at, have him I, because now. I laughed at don't your. Don't worry itinerary. about it, John. You're that's fine. You're I'm out of your life. life. I don't, don't care don't if that's the kind of friend you are. If that's the kind of friend you are, that's fine. You're out of their lives. Don't argue with them about it. That's it's over. over. It's if that's the kind of friend you are, that's fine. But why do you have to attack her? She's been a good friend to you. You feel you've I been a good we friend to her. You decided friends? to bring it up again today. I thought and, we were close. You I didn't bring it up. Rationalization. How did I bring it up? You sat here with your same stupid rationalization. You never try to hear what people are saying to you. So you're gone. Oh, goodbye. Fine, fine. This was. I didn't know our our, our friendship was based on such a thin premise. Shush. All right, Scott, fine. you're on the air. Can't laugh at Robin. Hello? You can laugh all you want to now. Well, I then I chose the wrong yet. time. Obviously, you can laugh all you want to. Yes, Freddie, go ahead. You're on the air. Hey. Hey, Howard. Yeah. I want to tell you, uh, 
I could I could tell why Robin has been alone all her life, man. She's got a bad attitude. You You're know? right. I agree. He's talking down to John. He is to be talked down. Yeah, of course. Nah, man. but you He's know, a bad person. They, they they are. You good are. Friends. I'm glad you finally seen. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm not. I'm glad you're admitting they're good it. Good friends, and you know, I know something. She she did a little name calling there. I think she could use about six months of anger management. I think you know? so too. Well, I. Uh, I uh, she was appropriate. Right. She wasn't all that appropriate. I've never punched anybody in the face. Who's I yeah, well, you oh, know John, what? You never you, hit you, anybody in a bar. Yeah, well, they hit me. Still come off like yeah, like right. you want to hit him though. That's for sure. I'm not hitting him though, am I? Yeah, he <laughs> sure sound like you wanted soon. to hit him. <laughs> he I wasn't on the air. Him. No, he's gone. I have That's no fine, problem Robin. with Robin. Robin, Robin what? You're Let me ask too. you a question, Robin. You're gone too. So what? When you see him, I've lost a lot, John. That that's a big blow to my life. Robin, when you see him in the hall, you won't even see him. You're saying. I don't see him now. I don't, you don't. hear him. You don't I'm see sort him. I'm doing this for the show, but he's gone. Right. <laughs> in other words, you're expressing even your viewpoint. Right. He's gone. I see. Yes, Chris. <laughs> Chris? <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hi. Uh, Howard, John's an idiot. Plain and simple, that's all there is to it. If, if I owned a business and I put him on, it did anything for him, and he did that, so it'd be a it'd be Did open. what? I laughed at... I, John. It's ridiculous. John. What? I explained it to you. I understand what you're saying. You might I understand. have said to her, said, you know but what, I moment, was insensitive, so, I mean, you were. You, but you, in the moment, Howard. You're goofing on a trip that you She created. was laughing, too. No one thought it was upsetting her. No uh, one. That, no, this is not about anyone. Why do you take the part? I didn't think no. she was upset. She's upset. I didn't think she was upset. Do you understand any reason why she's upset? No. You're not going to understand. I understand that she's upset. You created a trip. Even I though she, yes, she took it willingly. Yes, she wants to go to Amsterdam. But you created this trip. And why does she need to be goofed on about her vacation? I didn't know yeah, that she I'm, was going to be upset, Howard. We were all. Too, I thought she wanted to go. Oh, she right. does. Right. She's not saying she doesn't want. No, you. but he's acting as if this was my idea now. Well, I was shocked that she was going when somebody told me she was going. I was like, really, Robin's? I, I didn't know she was. I didn't know she wanted to go. But I assumed then that I didn't know Robin, she wanted to go. See, this is the stupid. What? Blunder of having him here. He is a dope. Robin never does anything she doesn't want to do, right, Howard? Right, I mean, right. Robin doesn't. No. And that's why you're out of my life. <laughs> Unbelievable. Because <laughs> I don't need this anymore. Will? Hey, what's happening, everybody? Hey, how you doing? I just wanted to tell Artie to make the McRiddle rules. <laughs> oh, thank you. That... Hey, by the way, Artie is hiding in the corner. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm calling, because yeah. nobody's, nobody's talking to him. He's no, 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 Artie, Artie's nowhere near a microphone. He doesn't like to get involved in the squabble. Are you kidding me? This is the most fantastic entertainment I've ever had. <laughs> He's just sitting back and joining. What am I, I going to add to this? I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking with a sandwich and a Coke. I'm just thinking if this corner. goes on three more hours, I, I, I'll just be on vacation. <laughs> 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 I would listen to this all morning. I but. would only ruin this. I'm right. shutting up. I want to ask you a question, though. You're going on this trip, though, because you want to. Because when it was presented to me, it looked like it was very important to the station <laughs> and to this sponsor. I so see. that's why I'm doing it. Oh, okay. So you're not really that thrilled about going. It wasn't something I would be doing under other circumstances. You would have no, been doing something never, else. I would have been doing something else. See, that's what John doesn't believe. Because he wouldn't do uh, that. John, I don't care what John believes. John it's, believes see, whatever's it, convenient for him so that he can yeah. sit in his so little I'm, world so as if, if anything, he never does anything and nothing so that if he anyth does So now I'm responsible for your trip. sit there so, and be totally yeah, I'm irresponsible. responsible for he's your trip. See, he's not responsible. Oh, God. You know, we know you're not responsible, John. You know what, Robin? They offered you the trip. You could have said no. You didn't have to go. There's other people that were in line. You didn't have to go. You chose to go. Don't blame it on me that you chose to go. Other people in line. You're so wrong for blaming it on me that you chose to go. Where was the line? It never would have gotten to me yeah, if you there know was what? a line. And you were happy about going up until yesterday. You're a, uh, you know what? I've never talked to you about this trip, so how would you know that? Because I heard How you and Gary talking. How would you know that? I heard you I, and Gary I'm, talking. I'm trying to have some fun with Gary. Is that All a right, problem? All right, so it sounds like you were happy. You're not supposed to be over uh, listening in on my conversation. How could you not hear you? I can hear you from a thousand miles away. Deciding what they mean. You, you, well, well, deciding well, well, what they mean. Let's just say you sounded happy about going. Deciding what they mean. I am not talking to you about it, am I? Here's a woman, Howard, who doesn't do appearances, is suddenly now going to do an appearance for a sponsor because, because of the good of the station. Give me a break, Robin. I do oh, more appearances. Oh, that's unheard I do more, more appearances that's for the sponsors unheard. of the station. Than Excuse you me, Howard. I never do anything for anybody. No, that's right. For sponsors in this station, I do plenty of appearances. For the, but you get paid. Not all the time. 
do a lot of free appearances. No, you don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> when do you do free appearances? I got one coming up. No, 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 no. That's not. See, see. But, uh, I'm not gonna pick on you, but you're you're off base. It's not a free appearance, Gary. There have what been some that I've done, and I'll tell you why. <clears throat> John's got a deal because he's got a midday show right. that is part of his payment. As most jocks in most stations, this is the way it works around the country. You have to do for the station X amount of appearances right. a year. Yeah, part of John his, says that's free. That's yeah, it's free. free. I'm not getting contract. paid for him. It's part of his job. All right, right. All right but that, that's not even what I'm talking. There are sometimes <laughs> that, that a sponsor will ask you to do things, and I do it, Gary. I don't like, always get paid. Like what? Plenty of things. Name like one. What? All right, I did a, a you know a thing for the I don't want to say the name. Should I say the name? I, I, think, sure. I, I think it was a movie company I did something for. What did you do? What did you do? Went and did this whole thing at the at a at, you know at a theater where I did the tell jokes. You remember that whole thing? I told no, you. no, no. But see, that's where you're off. That was one of the ones you were owed by the station. Yeah, well, I'm not getting paid for it. But it's but you. But all you, right, are, but all right, you I agreed to do it as your part of your compensation. Right, I got you. Okay. You don't do anything for free. See, he doesn't even understand. See, I just that. no. There That's have been free appearances, but I can't think of them. Is. There, I can't think of them. There have been times where where, where I've, right, I've shown up. Right, he can't think no. of them. Yeah, you. One of the things about you is you Gary, don't. You don't. I'm do, going to come up with one. I promise. You, Give me a little time. You don't do a lot of stuff for free, and it's <laughs> nothing does wrong so much with that. He can't even figure out what they are. It's there's nothing wrong with that, but you don't do stuff for free. It's just not. That's you just like to do. I have done stuff for free. I have. I but have. why would you? But why do you do it for free? If it's like if Tom, oh like if Tom oh uh, I, I once did a golf thing for one of the clients that I wasn't getting paid for that I spent six hours out there golfing because you wanted to the, golf no but I did it, I know you. I did it to, I did it to be nice and 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 do it so there you go there's yeah, my free buy appearance. it if you want. That's not a lie. I, I spent six it if hours. You want. He must have gotten something. No, out I didn't. Of it. Yeah. That's the only I, way. I got a, a couple of beers free. There you go. That's uh, all you need to pay you sometimes. <laughs> Jeff, you're on the air. That was oh, me Jeff laughing, Cleveland, sweetheart. It's plain as day that these two have been having an affair for the past however many years. You know what? She can hate me, but uh, she's always been a good friend of mine. And it's uh, a shame. That, that's, I didn't know that thing. she was getting upset by the, by the... I really had no idea, Howard. And then... If she would have just said, John, that, you know, please, it's bothering me. I don't need stop. to say it the way you no, want, No, you'd rather John. go to an office and yell at me. And that's right. That's what I wanted yeah, because to do. That's, your... that's what I felt like doing yeah. that day. I wanted to yell at you. There you, you go. You didn't want to go on the Heineken trip, and you didn't. I wanted to yell at you. Bob, you're on the air. <laughs> Fascinating. Howard, big fan. This is the problem. It's very, very simple. Robin doesn't want to go on the trip, but she can't admit that on the air because... Heineken's a big sponsor. Everybody understands that. No, no, she wants to go. That's what I thought. But that's she does. But that's nobody asked you to I think I thought you anything. can't hear me. I thought you thinking. can't hear me. Please stop thinking. I hate it when you think. Danny, you're on the air. Hey, how you, how you doing, guys? Listen, John's been he, he's, he's, over the course of the years. He's all he ever does is think about himself. Yeah, Robin's yeah, totally yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. true. Okay. All you ever do is all right, think so about you, yourself. All right, all right, all right. It's all right. true. All Robin, right. well, you're let's totally right. Uh, for now on the air and. Hope that when we get back in two weeks, the anger is still there between the two of you. We can listen some more. Well, see, now, see Howard, I here's no the problem. I anger. I'm Howard, done. You're done. Do you understand what happens? If she has a great time, uh, that'll be fine. Right. If she has a bad time, it which I anticipate her having John. anyway. It has nothing to do with Then you. she's going to come back, and now I'm to solely to blame for her bad it time, which is so unfair. To do with you. It has nothing to do with you. Oh, my God. Please don't talk about it's what's unfair, fair and it's unfair to you. You do what you want to do. Here's the key. You ready? If she has a horrible time... She shouldn't blame me. No, no, no. no. Wrong. Wrong answer. <laughs> you should say... Listen to me. If uh, she has a horrible time, you don't have to say, I, I told you it would be right. bad. No, I'll hey, say... You, look, at, look at me. Go ahead. Listen again. Here's what you... Here, here's what you... Here, here's what you dig into Tell me what like to a say. maggot. Go ahead. Not what to say, what not to say, I just said. You don't go, I, I, I told you it would suck. That's it. That, that's that's it. Go. That's the whole argument. In a you nutshell. got it. I, I won't. But but you don't know, worry. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it he doesn't can matter. say anything he wants. I will no longer listen. <laughs> Good for you. Now there's, there's. All right, I gotta go. I yeah, got John, so much to talk about. That would be what not to say if you were in Robin's life. Yes. <laughs> but since I'm not, it doesn't matter. But you're not. <laughs> all right, we have to uh, take a break. Thank you for summing it up. I uh, exactly. <laughs> I, that's what I got out of this. And this was brilliant. <laughs> yes, Jeff. What is it? Yeah. That's, uh, everyone's avoiding the real issue. Robin hates men. She's always hated John. She hates Gary. She even hates you, Howard, but you're her boss, so she can't badmouth you on the air. I'm not her boss. Oh, I'm not. Am I your boss? No. Do you but, think of me as a boss? Absolutely. Howard, hope Robin's not. laughed at all of our misery throughout the right. years. Robin's I don't know why. I don't create suddenly... it and then laugh at it. I don't create it and oh, then laugh at it. Oh, there are times where I'll tell you something, comes, you come out and say it and then laugh at it. I create what you told me. 
This is a childhood issue. She's venting her frustration on men, and her targets are John and Gary. John and Gary? Oh, come on. What does Gary have to do with this? Uh, you, but you've hated Gary for a long time. Oh, please. Come Wait on. a second. Dr. Pergola is on um, the air. Thank you. Thank Get you. a real Finally. doctor. All right, Dr. Pergola. Are you a real doctor? <laughs> yes, I am, Howard. How are you? All right. what, do you what is your practice? How are you? I'm a clinical psychologist. Okay. Uh, and what I'm hearing here is uh, the fact that Robin has some deep issues. Uh, she is very, very defensive. She's very guarded. I'm defensive. I got a guy over here attacking me. I left. Actually, attacking Robin, me today with his. She's not cured. She's mental. Robin, your your claws to get away. From Doctor, this. you need to go back to school. I Look, can see that your training wasn't very. Dr. Good. Pergola, you're, Robin. you're doing it with me, Robin. <laughs> Robin, your you're doing... training was not very good. Well, uh, listen, actually, Howard, I'm really not a doctor, but I want to <laughs> ask Robin. Robin, your picture's on the Long Island Expressway. Did oh, you know yeah, that? Did you see this? Hour? No. It's not her picture, dude. It is her it's picture. not her. It, Robin, are you on a TV show? Yes, that's me. No, Howard, it's a it's a Lifetime uh, channel. You know, Bill, I checked it out today to make sure because this guy called yesterday. It's so not Robin. But it is it, Robin, but he believes John. It it's not Robin. Jay, you're on the air. You have the final word, and then I must take a break. Hey, I just got up. I'm in the car listening. I don't know what the conversation was, <laughs> but I know John's at fault because he's just an a-hole. Thank you very much. So, in other words, you haven't heard any of this, but you, but turned, you know it's John's, but you know it's John's fault. fault. All right, there you go. Absolutely, I know it's John's fault. All right. <laughs> all right, here's the plan for today's show. We're going to all leave and then uh, replay this over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. It'll be John's fault the entire time. <laughs> no matter how many times you hear it. Thank you. All right. And finally, Justin, go ahead. You've been waiting a long time. Uh, 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 hi, Robin. How are you? I'm just fine. I've got to tell you, uh, I've had a stuttering problem my whole life. I got made fun of in school. I got called a retard, but I got over that. I felt pretty good about myself. Hearing John, it makes me ashamed of my stuttering problem. All right, there you go. <laughs> it makes me worried about myself. All right. Well, there you go. Uh, we've got to take a break. Robin, enjoy your Heineken trip. Thank you. <laughs> and John, enjoy whatever it is you're doing, not going on the Heineken trip. I'll be sitting on the beach laughing at Robin while she's in Amsterdam. Well, okay. oh boy. No, you see, laughing my like ass Like I said, off. it means nothing. Yeah. It means nothing. Oh, I'm kidding around, Robin. Jesus. Nothing. John, how come you didn't apologize to Robin? I didn't apologize because I really didn't think I was wrong. Because I didn't know that she was upset about going to the Heineken trip. I thought she was looking forward to it, judging by our conversation she's had with Gary. And how do I hear them? How can you not with her voice? And when we were in the studio, off the air, she was complaining about itinerary, and we were all laughing, Artie was making jokes, I was making jokes, and it never appeared that, that, that you know, Robin was upset at all. And then, uh, you know, uh, you know, they went back on the air, nothing happened, thought it was uh, the lightest fare, you know. Then she comes into the office and starts screaming at me, you know, you motherfucker, and all this shit. And uh, and I didn't. And then it was just. I thought that was wrong for her to go on. So if she really had a problem with me, she should have just said, "John, I want to talk to you." Do you want to apologize now? No, I don't. Now Robin said that you don't exist to her. So then, fine. Well, are you gonna, does she exist to you? No, no. Should I mean I don't want to be as immature as she is, but you know I, I don't. If that's the kind of friend that Robin is with me, if, if this is if this is our friendship, it's based upon if somebody should you know you know you know make a joke and then she gets upset and and, and is gonna now I'm not gonna be her friend anymore. Then it was never a friendship to begin with. And if it was never a friendship to begin with, then I don't really care about talking to her anymore. I have no problem with never talking to her again in my life because then she was never a friend. Robin. Yes, dear. John's dead. John doesn't exist to you anymore. Who? <laughs> I don't know anyone named John. John Melendez. I don't know anyone named John Melendez. What if he tried to apologize to you? Would you accept his apology? Why would John Melendez be apologizing to me? I don't know him. So he just doesn't exist? I... I don't know who you're talking about. What if this alleged person kind of grovels for forgiveness? I can't imagine. Why would I listen to a total stranger groveling about something? This is, this is at a very high level of, uh, of animosity. I don't even know why you're talking to me. What are you talking about? Everything good? Yeah, everything's great. Have a seat. Can I get you a cup of coffee or some water or soda? What, you, what can I get here? 
I know, it's a, it's a little disconcerting. Did you arrange the design of the pictures? In no, I didn't. I didn't. There's a guy we hired, believe it or not. Really? That's that. You know what would be great? It would be some coffee with some cream and some sweet. Great. I'll get that for you right now. Okay. What do you think of the decor here, the Gary? It fits in. It fits in. It's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing, you know? Gary Busey is an actor. He came to prominence in the movie Buddy Holly. Mm -hmm. After that, he did a string of movies. I don't even remember the movies. Best known, I suppose, for being the villain, one of the villains in Under Siege. Yeah, that was good. Or one of the Die Hard movies. Yeah. Usually he comes in here and he just looks like he's going to kick my ass. It always looks like that. Always looks like he's going to kick my ass. <laughs> Who are you, the Terminator? Dude, you got to calm down. How are you, my brother? Good to see you, Gary. He always gets in your face. Come on, sit down, man. You got to relax. I can tell you use my theory. You're Which wired. Is what? You got a theory? Look at this guy. He always looks angry to me. You always look angry to me, Gary. Honestly, you do. sit down. Smoking a cigar at this time in the morning. It's not a cigar. It's a candy cane. <laughs> Thank you. Gary, you always look angry. I would think it would be very difficult. I see your son. You know, he looks just like you. He's the spitting image of you. And a lot of times, I even sometimes see your son, I think it's you. You yeah, do look very young. It, yeah. And uh, I would think it would be difficult to be your son. You're a very tense guy. You're a very... You think he was a, a uptight father? Yeah. Is what I, do. I would think it would be very... Are you close with your son? Very close. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Hold it a second. You're very close with your son? <laughs> yes, I'm Darth very Vader close with my him. son. Yeah, Jake uh, is my son, and uh, he played my son when he was five years old in a movie called Straight Time. And I knew he had the goods then, so we took him out of show. Listen to your voice, how it's changed since Buddy Holly. Well, it could be like this, too. Did you sing in that movie? Yeah. That was you singing? Yeah, it was the first musical done live. Well, look at you. By the way... You sang all those Buddy Holly songs? Yeah. I guitar? did not know that. What, what's wrong with you? I didn't... What do you mean, what's, what's wrong, wrong with you? A lot That's of things. You want to get into list. that? We'll be here no, all day. No, I read your resume, Howard. It's you precious. always strike me as one of those guys who could go off at any minute. I'm talking about... For real. Even like like uh, Robert, I don't know if Robert Blake killed his wife or not. I don't know anything about it. But you were like one of those kind of guys. Like one of the, like if someone really sets you off. A hair trigger, okay, okay. You know, OJ, okay. Howard, stop talking. All right, go ahead. Uh oh. So uh -oh. You've done it already. Did I say something wrong? <laughs> no, you, you you never say anything wrong. Go ahead. You Thank live you. on you live on an ambitious. Uh, you live on. An, I tell you what, Howard. When go you ahead. get lost in your imaginary vagueness, yes. your foresight becomes a nimble vagrant. That's oh, what's exactly mackerel. Well, now it. I understand everything. <laughs> yeah, it's true, it's true. But w the brain surgery, uh, w uh, where are we going now? No, no, I was saying, I was saying, you're one of those guys who likes to mix it up. In fact, I would imagine being your son would be difficult. That it you was would difficult. Be, yes. It was difficult at the time when I was laced in the cocaine in the early 80s. All right. That was very vicious. But Jake and I have a very, very strong bond you do. now. Yeah, that's a very upsetting. strong bond. You know. We do get uh, people, people have come to me on the street and said, hey, hey, Carrie, your brother was great in contact. <laughs> right. Said, well, that's my son. Yeah, you and do you look know, good. You know what? About your, uh, about my intensity i have been known as i used to be an intensity junkie now you still are because no, you no, might, no. i have robert blake on my i'm not i'm not comparing you to robert blake but you can't compare me with anyone just no. like you can't be compared with of anyone. course not but i heard your adr tapes from private parts yes i was in what are adr AD, tapes that's looping oh thank you and when you I went. I was. I just did a movie called Slapshot Two with Stephen Baldwin and the Hanson Brothers, yes. hockey movie, yes. mm -hmm. coming out with Universal. And I went into an ADR, ADR room and I saw private parts on these uh, on these tapes. And mm -hmm. I said, "What is that?" I said, "Oh, that's a uh, Stern's movie, huh? Private Parts and ADR." And I said, "Golly, what's he like when he's looping?" And they pulled the tape off of there. Yes, thank you. And put it on. Yes. And there you were talking. You were talking to yourself. And before you would say a line to inspire you, you would say, "I love the smell of old wood and young boys." Is that right? Who would say that? <laughs> that you did. <laughs> you you got to be kidding. Me. No, I. I love the true? smell of old wood and young boys. Now, why would you make up a story? Like I didn't that? make it up. Pal. Of course.
course you did. Hey, I've been having an affidavit. Are you trying to, to say that I'm a homosexual? <laughs> no, no, I'm not trying to say that. You know Are you word? trying to say that I like young boys? No, I think you, you got to be you, kidding You're me. the one who started the BYOV parties. What's the BYOV? Bring, Bring your, your own, own Vaseline. Oh, okay. No, come on now. What are you come saying? Come on now. Now, what, I've obviously insulted you. I've seen you. pictures. No, you, you can't insult Did me. I insult you? You never have and you never will. Did I insult uh, Gary Busey? No, 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 no. See, you I don't think, even uh, know. You, making you, a joke. You, oh. I told you, when you get lost in your imaginatory vagueness, <laughs> yeah. your foresight becomes a nimble vagrant. See what it's I mean? You're you a very plan. challenging guy. It's hard for you to plan ahead yeah. simply because you're at home in your imaginatory vagueness. That's where you live and breathe and, and breed. You're there. Were you ever a telemarketer? <laughs> I, I don't know what that is, telemarketer. You know, these guys who call you on the phone. How did they not get your number? Right. <laughs> where do you live now, Gary? Are you living in L.A.? I live right where I'm sitting. I heard that. No, seriously, are you an L.A. Uh, resident? Yeah. You are. And, 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 and some of your friends, who are your friends? I read that you're friends with Jan Michael Vincent. He's another guy that comes on <gasps> oh my, my show. Oh, my goodness. And he's, he's, been, he's deteriorated uh, over the last couple of well, visits. Let's, if we can't say something nice about No, no, I don't mean it's bad. Say. I'm concerned about Why do you guy. interrupt a lot? Are you nervous? <laughs> no, I'm not nervous. What's that sound you make? Although you do make me nervous. You have some phlegm in your throat. No, I have right? no phlegm in my throat. What was that sound? No, you have phlegm <laughs> in your throat. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, now, I listen don't. To listen to me. Let me ask you something. Oh, this is going to be good. How is Jan Michael Vincent? Seriously, I'm worried about the guy. Jan Michael Go is in a situation where he's working very hard to stay alive. And the situation is that Jan is like a brother to me. Will he make it? Yeah, he'll make it. He'll make it. it. He'll make it. I'm worried about the guy. I'm I like go, him a lot. Well, I'm going to go talk to him and give him uh, the essence of faith and hope. And well, you've become like a whole thing. Jesus freak, right? I mean, you had a whole a conversion. Freak. Well, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Jesus or something. You're Jesus into... freak. How old are you? I am 47 years old. <laughs> My God, you're going on 65 when you use words like Jesus freak. Is that a bad word? No, you're Jewish. And yeah. you know, Howard, you're... I, think it's, I think they have different terminology these days. In Gary's case, he's a promise keeper. What I, is that? Promise keeper. Good. It's a... It's a it's an evangelistic. It scares me. Group. Why? I don't like it. You never. You know what? I don't like you, promises. You've, why? Because you've never been able to keep promises. Neither of you. Yes, I was going to say, oh, Gary. Come on. Come on. You've Gary, had a few you, problems yes. with keeping promises. Gary, you. You know. Listen, I don't guys, need You know what a problem is? A problem is an opportunity in disguise. Uh -huh. Right. So what I do with my life now? Besides, what is the promise? Besides, it's. You know what the word trust stands for? T yes. R U S T. It stands for talking realistically, understanding sacred truth. That's the meaning of how trust. many guys are into this seriously how many guys are yeah, into how this? many guys are promise keepers the thousands and thousands and thousands is an but how many are serious that, <laughs> yeah i mean how many guys are really doing it because it's a promise keeper like you gotta like stay married and no, stuff here, here no, no. A, i thought that's what it was can i just tell you no. my interpretation of it for it's sort of like the white version of, of the million, million man, man march. march yeah it's where guys who have have done who, who haven't done everything right in their past sort of get together that would be all of us no 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 listen listen let me tell you if yeah. i can if i can ask you to stop talking for a minute that's impossible <laughs> i gotta be honest with you i can oh, oh gary don't no, where are you going uh oh he's coming up don't come over and hurt me i'm having an interview wait <laughs> it happens every time gary, I'll, be nice. I'll tell you what promise keepers are <laughs> why are you doing this because i like to be close to see you. i told you it'd be hard to be your son well listen it's great oh here give me here <laughs> You scare me, man. <laughs> Promise Keepers is a group of evangelistic leaders that talk to men and their sons for two days in big arenas, big stadiums, and they talk about breaking the gap. They talk about standing in the gap where you reconcile races, you reconcile religion, your faith, you reconcile your arrangement and your relationship with God and Can your you son. sit down, please, please? You're making me scared. <laughs> really? You're scaring me. I've <laughs> never done this before. Yeah, go ahead. Go over there. Go over there, What do we man. trade? <laughs> you know what? I'm afraid. Give him some buddy. gummy bears. I think He's a scary guy. Gary scares the hell out of me. He's going to hang out behind you now. Yeah, he, he does. Won't leave. <laughs> Gary, go over there. Come on. I want to interview you. Get over here. No one in. I know at some point with the promise keepers, at yeah. some point, you do have to sort of reconcile your past. Like if you've cheated on your wife, if right. you've lied to your wife. Don't you, you take an oath? You don't get up and say that. You, yeah, no, you, don't, you don't take an oath. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a it's funny like, smell back there, man. Really? There is a I didn't funny say smell. I smell good. Well, I didn't say you smell bad. <laughs> I, you my now, favorite what happened when he walked smell. over there? Would you like to play it? He, he grabbed me up in his arms like I was a woman. But did you have an accident no. or something? I had an accident in my <laughs> pants. <laughs> no, you didn't have an I accident. I crapped my pants. No, you didn't. Now, you're you a tough guy. You could definitely take me out in one punch. I can go 15 seconds with anything. 
Why do you not do any more singing? Uh, you were great. I am. Uh, I am. I'm doing a gospel album, a tribute to Buddy Holly, and an album of my own music. All right. And I'm playing in uh, Los Angeles with the China Club All Star Band. Really? And You're the, in a and the Gypsy Magic. And I'd like to say one thing. I am so happy to be in New York working on Law and Order. I love this city. It's so unique and individualistic and so powerful. You're on Law and Order now. Are you a regular on Law and Order? Well, let me finish. Okay. Somebody told me you walked off the set. Is let that true? Report. Answer that allegation. <laughs> yeah, when we go to lunch, we walk off the set. No, really? Did you walk off the set? You in anger or something? No, never. That was Tyne Daly. They are not the same. That is, are you the same as Tyne Daly? <laughs> that is the way. No, that's called gender-related stress response. Because <laughs> you, you're a professional. I can't see you walking off. I the don't set. do that. I had to, I had my years of difficulty, belligerence, and and cocaine, but that's all gone now. I, the greatest gift I can get right now is by giving, and I'd like to say thank you to Union. Teamsters 817 right. for how they were taking care of me and my driver Tommy. He's good. All right. Right. All right. Let's say that Gary Busey is in the movie Slapshot 2 coming to theaters in September. Something like that. Is this a good movie? Or, yeah. Yeah. You're proud of this? Yeah, I'm very proud of it. Stephen it's Baldwin? Funny. Yeah. And uh, what is it, hockey? Yes, uh, hockey. Do you get on the ice? No, I'm a CEO of multimillionaire who buys a hockey team of misfits and brings them into Omaha, Nebraska, and puts them in a league that I own, Family TV, and it's like the Harlem Globetrotters. The misfits, Stephen Baldwin's team, never win. It's the icebreakers who win every game. Are you are you uh, currently in a love relationship with a woman? Uh, I'd love to know who you're banging. No, I'm not. You're not? Really? Why is that? Well, Good looking guy like yourself, Rich. Well, I I'm, I decided to focus on my career and my behavior and my music and the ministry I do. And I created the Traumatic Brain Injury Act after my death off the motorcycle. What do you do for a sexual outlet? Uh, Honestly, I mean, I'm, I'm, as a man, I want to know. As a man, you want to know what yeah. I do for a sexual outlet? <laughs> yes, I do. Then maybe it is true what he said about what you say during looping. Yeah. All right. Well, okay. So it I'm is. so I'm gay for you. Tell me what you do for sex. You know what the word gay stands for? Yes. What? Happy. No. What? <laughs> good as you. Right. It, it came in the first gay pride parade. Is that right? I didn't know that. Yeah. Good as you. All right, listen to me. But wait a minute. So he has sworn off women at this point. No, I haven't sworn off women. When's the last time you got laid? Be honest. Mm. Uh, what? Oh, come on. I can't remember. No, no. That wow, that, that long? <laughs> guy like you, a rich, famous guy? You're in a slump, my friend. Never mind Whoa. keeping promises. You haven't gotten time out. I'm not in a slump. Buddy. That's a slump. Oh no! You Bro. think I'm going to tell? You think I'm going to talk to, uh, about my personal life yes. with you? Of course you are. <laughs> Why? Because you trust me. What's in it for me? I'm your buddy. You gonna pay me? No. I'm Forget not going to pay. It. Okay, I'll give you a surprise if you tell me when the last time What's you a surprise? I'm going to give you a prize. I'm yeah, gonna what give prize? You a, I'm going to give you a Blackberry. You ever see these things, the Blackberry, where you can page your friends? I'm going to give you a Blackberry with Earthlink uh, capabilities if you tell me when's the last time you got laid. That's uh, wireless uh, internet connection. You can check your email, email wireless. Yeah. That's your prize. That's a damn good prize. That's worth about four or five hundred bucks. Oh, it's not enough. Oh, come it's on. It's not enough. This is priceless information I'm giving you, so you better do better than that. Go ahead. Tell me. Seriously, I, I'm shocked that you, you... I don't believe when you tell me you can't remember the last time you had a woman. Good every, looking guy. Every, every day, every other day in my horoscope, the last line of the horoscope says, get laid more often. No, come on. It I mean, dude, women have got to be coming on to you. I mean, well, that's true. If you're not getting women, then no one is. And well, so I, you're turning okay, them okay. Down. Let me be honest. What? Yeah. What? I spent several years being loud, confident, and wrong. Right. Also, I was a womanizer. Go ahead. And I realized the decadence I'm going to applaud that. that. Beautiful. Are you what you consider a sex addict? This guy, Jimmy, no, Jimmy, this guy's gotten more tail than you'll ever see, and you've gotten laid in comedy clubs. And you know what? He, he looks a little like Gary Condit, too, so he should be oh, getting something. No way. No, no way. He's a good-looking guy, Gary Gary Condit, Condit is not he's a good-looking good guy. not a good-looking guy. Gary Condit, maybe he's gay back there. <laughs> Jimmy might be gay. You got a point about that. All right, yeah, so but you wait a minute. A lot wait a minute. Let me, let, me, let me say this. Yeah. I was once one time a womanizer, and it was because I felt insecure of my own sexuality. Right. And my great <laughs> Are you saying you and my greatest What are you saying? You thought you were gay? No, I didn't no think way. I was gay. Oh. Oh. I was insecure with my maleness. Oh. I was insecure yeah. with my manhood. I was insecure with the amount of sperm I could carry. I thought you were saying something else. I got nervous. <laughs> well, really? that's, that's your habit. I know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, womanizing is over. Chasing women is over. 
I don't do that. And what happens when I balance myself and center myself and ground myself, I turn into someone who's likable, and the energy I have in me is safe to be around. Rather, So you will not be with women? No, I'm with women. You are. Sure, you should be. Don't get cra- carried away with this. But you're married, you're the thing about Don't it get is, carried away there's with many, it. many ways to make love without physical touch. Yeah. So you're saving your uh, essence. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. So when's the last right. time you Plus, had a girlfriend? What do you do? What do you do? You go out and get laid. What do you do when it's over? You, you what do you do? You come I go to sleep. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> yes, I go. No, that's sure what I don't. That's what you do. That's why yeah, you're not I'm married. Done. That's you're why you're not married now. <laughs> you know when you do when you deal with women the way you do and marry. Thank you. Marriage will turn out to be the only war where you sleep with the enemy right that is still true that I is think. true who knows i hey, know listen, let me tell you something you've been Wait, married you've too, been right? married yeah you know you've been, how many times you've been married two. Oh, that's not so bad i don't understand how a guy gets divorced once and gets married and gets married again because you know you're no good at it <laughs> no that's not I'm true i'm no good at it there's a book by bishop wellington boone called your wife is not your mama i would suggest you get it no, that's true i, I have for agree every with man you. every yeah, man that's right no I, I you can end up turning your wife into your mother you're right well, if you're Jewish, it works like that. Yeah. If you're anything, it works like There's that. There's nothing wrong with Jews. I respect you can the say Jewish it. faith. You don't like Jewish the Jews. Faith. You're among many. <laughs> no, I do. Most people don't like Jews. I have unconditional love for everyone. Really? Yes. All right. But anyway. you can spot a Jew, right? right. <laughs> what? At 50 feet. A photo Jew. <laughs> you can spot a what Jew. What is a photo Jew? I want to say Law and Order uh, is based on You the... know what you are? You're an American original. Thank you. And so are you. And so are you. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I'm the next Buddy Holly. What do you think of that? <laughs> I got the glasses for it. Let no. me tell you, let me ask you something. What are those glasses? Those glasses make you look like a frog with a big nose. Well, hey, you know what? It Listen, works for me, though, because I If like I could be legs. as good looking as you, I would be it, but oh, I can't. Man. I'm not going to be able to do it. It's the inner beauty, Mr. Stern, not Let me ask you something, beauty. Gary. Seriously, Mr. Busey. Okay, let me ask you Mr. Question. Stern, you asked right. me a question. Go ahead. Law and Order, your character right is based on the Robert Blake case. No. True or false? No. We True. Changed, we changed that around. You did? Yeah. Why? Because I'm living, uh, my character is now living under the facade of a name, Tommy Vega, and his real name is Cedric Flanagan. It's not based on Robert Blake? Uh uh-uh. You think Robert Blake did it? No. Why you do you know say that? How do you know? I was on the top of the list of Bonnie Blakely's uh, yeah. target What about list. that? Yeah. Do you know Bonnie Blakely? No, I met her maybe one time for five minutes years ago. You but, wouldn't bang an old bag like that. Uh, no way. Uh, no. no, I'm serious. You wouldn't. Uh, she was a very heavy set old woman. What you is this banging the Robert old bags? Blake. You <laughs> could never, and with all respect to the dead, you would not have fallen for that. I mean, you, so you're going to get a nicer piece of tail than her. How do you know? Wait a minute. How could this broad Let's thing... Let's find out how he knew Bonnie and what their relationship was. If you tell was. me you banged her, I'm... You're what? I'm, leaving? I'm leaving. I'm going to leave this interview. You can take well, it. Well, I got good news for you. I Go did not bang her. Okay, All you right. can stay. I was simply on the top of the list for her next target. Did it's you a, know her? I met her for five minutes. I've known Bobby since the 70s because I did a Beretta. Uh-huh. He's a good Does man. he scare you? No. Scared me when he came in here. Worse than you scared me. You're easily frightened. Yeah. yeah. Oh, more than I scared you? Yeah. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. No, no, you scare me, too. You scare me, too. You scare me. Just to put your belt back on. No. <laughs> Sit down and answer the question. You issued a challenge. He's going to beat me with his belt. I knew it. I knew I could. I knew it. Don't, don't, not the belt, Mr. Busey, please. Not the belt. Okay. Don't take out the belt. <laughs> Bonnie Bakley had me on her list. Go ahead. She said, find Gary Busey's phone number, call his mother, Virginia, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hmm. And uh, she never called me because she passed away or went to the other side before that happened. Yeah. She was killed. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And go ahead. What do you think she was looking for you for? Your money. <sighs> money and a baby and... Good Lord. Isn't it insulting that she would think you're an easy mark? Seriously, isn't that insulting? But I'm not an easy mark. No, of course not. I but found I'm, it flattering. You did? Yeah. You were honored to be among her. Not uh, honored, just curiously smiling. I wonder what she would have done to try to trap you, because she was not a good-looking woman. She couldn't trap me. No way. Not with that face. No woman can trap me. Really? No. Well, uh, let me tell you something. Gary Busey is in Slapshot 2 coming out to theaters in September. Yeah. You should go see him also on the small screen in Law & Order. Yeah, we have a new one, too, uh, coming out called The Killing Frost. And I'm doing a film in Texas in uh, September with Dwight Yoakam called Dave the Ox, which is about Texas high school football. You must be worth a lot of money. You're we're constantly working. How much are you worth? Announce to my audience. Priceless. Really? No, seriously, are you a multimillionaire? Uh, You've got to be. 
Uh, no, I'm not a multimillionaire. You're not. You must remember what Benjamin Franklin said. The man who is rich rejoices with what he has. Let's go to the phones. Tony, you're on the air. Good morning, Howard. Uh, listen, uh, two weeks ago I saw Gary in uh, Malibu Beach. This guy hung like a horse. What do you what, mean he's hung like a horse? You saw him naked? <laughs> no, he was in his Speedo, but his thing was so big you could tell. Gary, you wear a Speedo on the beach? I, I no, no, you know what that was. Uh, on Sundays, myself and several friends... Uh, in fact, Tony Danza, Chris Chelios, John C. McGinley, John Cusack. What we do, we go down and we rent Clydesdales, and we ride them down. The All dip. famous friends for you. Go ahead. Yeah, that's interesting. And we ride down to the, we rent Clydesdales and ride them down to the Dairy Queens and shout insults at people wearing zippers. Would you wear a Speedo to the beach? No, that was the horse's dome. So this guy didn't see your penis, did he? Did you really see no. his penis? Yeah. Tell. All right. Well, hey, you probably well hung. That's a compliment. Hey, that's a compliment. No, that was the. One more question. That By the way, the Gary was Busey the was on Bonnie Blakely's Whoa. Young and Rich list. So she knew. So Gary, she. Uh, oh come on! That's an insulting question. <laughs> Whether or not Gary Busey has anal sex with women is his business. Oh. You don't want to answer that, do you? Is that a sin? Is that a sin? You're a religious man. Anal sex for it or against it? Sin. S I N stands for self-imposed nonsense. Dr. Okay. Sigmund Freud, you're on the phone. Yes, good morning, <laughs> Mr. Stern. I have done an analysis of what Mr. Busey has been telling you, and I, I'm afraid to say, Mr. Busey, it's time to come back to the rubber room, man. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. God's crazy, my friend. Gary Busey <laughs> speaks his mind. You know, I got I to gotta tell the audience something. These phone calls are coming from the uh, staff in the other room. <laughs> no, I would never I saw do that. The, I saw these written up when I went to see Gary, the producer. I knew, <laughs> I knew they had something for me, but nothing they can do. Jimmy, you're on the air. Me, I assure you I would me, never do that. Strand me or dump me. I would never do that. Jimmy, you're on the air. Have you ever turned Howard, the dump Robin, over? Robin, Gary, good morning. Uh, quick question. You, you made a movie called Two Shades of Blue with a friend of mine, Roy, Eric Roberts, Rachel Hunter, Molly Matlin. Now, how big of an idiot was Eric Roberts on the set? And did my friend Roy have a fight with Eric Roberts? Hmm. All right. Uh, this guy, uh, I know Eric. I, I don't think he's Love an idiot. Eric. Love Eric. But uh, did you uh, think uh, Eric Roberts was an idiot? On the set of the On the movie? set of the movie? Never. You like the guy? Did you see a fight? Yeah, Eric's a good friend. Did you see a fight on no the movie? No fight. No fight. Okay. All right. Let's go to Dave. Dave, you're on the air with Gary Busey. He's the rumor mill. In the slap shot. Yes. Robin. What? Have a question for Gary. Go ahead. Yes, Gary, uh, I, I understand you're friends with Jan Michael Vincent. Uh, are, you, are you doing any anything with him? You, you don't sound right to me. What's the matter? J who doesn't sound right to you? Gary. Gary Busey right. doesn't sound right to you? In what no. way? And by the way, I'm a big fan, Gary, but uh, <laughs> you sound a little slow. <laughs> slow? Right? He's talking fast. I'm concerned. Oh, well, okay. That's a guy who's concerned. Are you on anything right now, Gary? No, but I say I think the caller should go see a therapist. All right. Let's go to uh, Al. Al, you're on with Gary Busey, the star of Slapshot 2. Good morning, Howard. Uh, I used to like this guy, but he's like one of these arrogant, obnoxious, hypocrite actors. He comes on your show. You can tell the guy doesn't even like you. He's here just to plug something. I even, don't even know you. Gary, is that true? You don't like me? Oh. That, why are you saying? Why are you yeah, making... Attitude. I don't feel Gary doesn't like me. I think I Gary wouldn't be you. here if he didn't like me. I adore you, Howard. I adore you. <laughs> 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 well, let's leave it at that, Gary. Fine and Thank dandy. you. <laughs> well, uh, yes. And let's go... Uh, to, let's hope for one more phone call. <laughs> who, who screens these idiots? <laughs> we Obviously don't screen no them. One. Dan, me. Dan, go ahead. You're on the air. Help me, help me. Uh, STFM, save this fucking movie. Wait, 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 wait. Go help ahead. Me. Go ahead, Dan. Help you're on me. with Gary Busey. Help me. Yeah, you're talking about Gary being a loose cannon. And I know for a fact he walked off the set of uh, Law and Order. Come on. How would you Law know that? Replaced by Joe Piscopo. He what? what? Asking about being replaced by Joe Piscopo almost. <laughs> Is there any truth that you were almost replaced who by... Who screens these idiots on the phone? John. I mean, he t puts... John? But he doesn't screen. He puts oh, everyone he just through. The calls. He threw a fit. He did all of his own lines. He wouldn't say what was in the script. And then he ran off to... How would you know this? If Gary says he didn't do that, why would you say that? I've, I've got inside news on the set. <laughs> Who told you this? I can't say who told me. That's Gary, any I truth? I don't believe it because how could you replace him with Joe Piscopo? No yeah, I don't buy that story. That's not Joe possible. Piscopo that would be a real insult. <laughs> Joe Piscopo is on Law and Order now with Gary, and they were going to replace Gary. 
part with Joe Piscopo. I'll tell you who this is. Who is it? This is Joe Piscopo. I knew it. It's his publicist. <laughs> hey, go ahead. Uh, is this uh, Chris? Go ahead. You're on the air. Hey, Howard. How's it going? Larry, big fan. Larry. Oh, I'm sorry. Jerry. But... No, I, that's right. I'm Larry Bussey. I did the Buddy Hackett story. Ago, Jerry, you had that uh, accident at the time. You were an advocate for repealing the helmet law, and I wanted to know since that accident, have you... Uh, Rethought your stance on that position. I have, I have, uh, since that happened with, uh... You crashed your motorcycle and you, uh, received hit, a head, head injury. I hit the traumatic brain injury, it's called, and I created the Traumatic Brain Injury Act with, through Bill Clinton and, uh, Senator Orrin Hatch and Kennedy and Bill Frisch, Dick Army, Lee, uh, a lot of people, and, uh, that's the, that's the joy I have from the gift I got by having the uh, brain surgery. and. So you have four helmet laws. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. There's going to be a hel- is The new Traumatic Brain Injury Act, when it's reauthorized, is going to say it is mandatory for every state in the union to use helmets skiing, skateboarding, rollerblading. It's a miracle you're alive today. <laughs> well, it's a miracle i got to tell you something. Alive. I went rollerblading. I was just learning a couple of years ago. Like maybe four years ago. You probably look like Big Bird on an I did. Trip. I look so yeah, odd. Really? That's not well, nice. yeah, if you have to insult me, go ahead. But <laughs> that's if, that's what a, if that's what being a promise keeper is about, that's go ahead. That's not an insult. Whatever you want to say. That's not an insult. <laughs> yes, it is. Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> no. <I'm not> <laughs> you got to do some throwing here. All right, easy, easy. Don't throw. No, 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 no. I got equipment, equipment, equipment. Sit down. Sit down and relax. Sit down. No, no, no. Don't. You don't. No, I got equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Millions of dollars. No, 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 no. Oh, he's got a poor Gary, coffee. Do Calm down, dude. No, go off the air. Calm down, oh, dude. There's nothing worse than that. <laughs> he wants us off. No, I don't want you off the air. <laughs> Mike, you're on the air. Good morning, King. One quick question for Gary. Yes. How many Xanax is he on right now? <laughs> Xanax. Xanax, you on Xanax. any kind of medication, no, Xanax. Gary? Xanax is a little village in Mexico. Right. Uh, Mike, go ahead. You're on the air. Hey, I'm one of Gary's biggest fans. How's it going, Gary? Good. Hey, man. You still ride motorcycles? No. No, no way. Enough? You can't. No, Why? I don't. Why would you? Hey, let me ask you one more thing. I think you're insane if you drive a motorcycle. Man, I got so many friends who have pins in their legs and lost their legs. Mm-hmm. you yeah. got to be cra- And look at what's in your head, a plate, right? Uh, no, uh, yeah, I got a plate in my head, and I didn't know I had a plate in my head and still, until I started showing up at picnics. I wasn't invited. <laughs> I had a plate in my head. I just went. <laughs> oh, all right, listen. <laughs> Gary Busey, Slapshot 2 is the movie. We'll go see it in theaters in September. Also, watch him on Law & Order. I want to thank Gary for Let coming in here. Let me tell you here. that about Law & Order. This show is run with such a design of capability and like a family and a tribe. I've never, I don't do a lot of TV, but this moves fast and is so courageous with what they do with the stories. I'm so proud to be a part of it. Well, we're proud to have you on the show, Gary, and uh, thank you for coming in today. I'm not, I'm not leaving yet. Oh, yes, you're done. Uh, that's it. I had it with you. No, it's, that's it. <laughs> no, 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 no. We'll be back right after. Oh, what are you doing? No, don't you leave. <laughs> Wait a second. What are you doing? Here. What? No, don't put out a second. No, no, no. Right on your neck. No, no, no. Scream. <laughs> Scream like a banshee. No! <laughs> I love Jewish <laughs> okay, okay, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh we'll be back right goodness. after. You must burn me. We're not 
Done. 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 I love you, man. <laughs> I can't fight you. I can't fight you. Right, you do it, man. This is show bitch. Oh, man, it sure is. <laughs> <laughs> now what? <laughs> this. Oh, right. I'm going home. Yeah, I love you, man. Thanks, yeah, guys. I love you. Guys. Take care, man. Adios. Uh -oh. Out. Oh, 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 Where's my girlfriend? I don't know, I don't know. Adios. Thank you very much. Gary, Show what's business. going on in there? You're like attacking everybody. <laughs> Gary, why were you attacking Howard? Huh? Hey! Hi there. <laughs> Gary, why were you attacking Howard? What wasn't attacking Howard. What was going on? Just having fun. Hey! In addition to the fantastic deals... Hey, how are you? Good. So, Gary, you have a good time in there? How are you doing? You were super on there as always. Yeah, yeah. You had a good time? It's show business. A lot of yeah. fun. Howard and I go way back, so... So you weren't really trying to hurt him when you were attacking him? No, no, no. It was all in fun. Oh. Actually, I, I was actually playing Tickle and Pee with Howard. <laughs> what does that mean? That means I tickle you till you pee, and if you pee, you win a set of luggage. <laughs> and then we play Name That Smell. Uh. Then, we, then there's a game you play after 6 p.m. called Identify the Stain. And what's that? You identify the stain in someone's clothes or on the wall or any any place, the carpet. You win prizes with this. <laughs> so it sounds like you had a good time. Goodbye. Well, let me see if I could describe what just happened. As we were leaving for commercial break, Gary Busey came running over to me with a lit cigar and tried to burn my neck. <laughs> I grabbed his arm and... He was screaming, I love to... What was it? I, I love Jewish screams. I love the sound of Jewish screams. Mm -hmm. I think Hitler did too. <laughs> <laughs> so then we turned off the uh, microphones. Yeah, we went to commercial. We went to commercial. <laughs> The first thing that happened, Gary came over, we were, you know, shaking hands and stuff. Yeah, it seemed uh, all civil. Very nice. Went over to Robin, he gave Robin a hug, and then he started picking Robin up. And squeezing me, you know, it was like bear hugs. Squeezing her and lifting her off of the ground. Three times. Three times. And I thought, okay, now he's going to stop. Then, and which is always scary when someone starts lifting you off the right. ground. You never know what's going to Then all of a sudden, he pushed her down onto the floor, tackled her. Jumped on top of me. Jumped on top of her and started humping her. It was rape. Yeah. Well, yes, so I think I need to call the police. We pulled Gary Busey off of Robin. <laughs> Thank God. Me and two other guys. Yeah, it was me, you, and Gary. Yeah, we pulled him off. I picked Robin up off the floor, gave her my hand. She got up. Look, look, look here it is. Here we go. All right. That's well, 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 before you show the tape, wait a second. Okay. I want to tell the audience. And, and then he goes... All right, that's enough with Robin. Now you're next. He looks at me, <laughs> turns around. He starts to try to tackle me. Yes. Except I'm a little... He's trying to take you down. I was a little more prepared than Robin was. Well, I wasn't going to fight the guy. Yeah, well, I was. <laughs> he starts to take me down. I grab him around the neck, and I headlocked him <laughs> and held on to him. Yes. Then he tried to grab my wrists, which are all cut up now, both of them oh, I noticed. No. Yeah, because Gary Busey has long nails like a girl. Yeah. <laughs> And he cut my wrist with his nails. So I held his hands and kept him in the headlock and kept shanking him, like oh moving him like around. God. And then you guys uh, tried to get Gary Busey off me, but I wouldn't let go of him. Yeah, I had an arm and Gary had him, him around his like neck almost. And then, we, and, then, and then I said, gee, why is Gary Busey not getting disconnected from Howard? What's holding him? And I realized you were holding his Ho hand. Howard yeah. was holding him. Well, I wasn't letting go because I didn't know what was going on. I just wasn't letting go of the guy. But, but I'll tell you, the weirdest thing yeah. about Robin, you know, he picked her up, he hugged her, he tackled her and everything. But when he got her on the ground and he got on top of her, he started thrusting. Yeah. And that's when I got worried. Uh, yeah. And you don't know what to do with Well, the guy rest. hasn't gotten laid in a lot of years, too. <laughs> he got up and he said, hey, man, I'm a, I'm a heat-sicking, moist missile, whatever. Yeah, like, heat-sicking heat missile. So anyway, uh, we do have playback. And, uh, well, after you finished with him, he got up. He didn't want to wrestle with you anymore. He says, where's that girl? No, 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 no. He says, where's my I, girlfriend? Yeah, well, I ran. <laughs> I left the studio. So here you have Gary. I went Gary. hid in another part of the radio station. You see, Robin, what happened with you is on tape, but there's no audio. There's yes. Gary picking you up and once, thought, okay, picking twice. you up twice, and picking I'm you up to get away. three times, and now he begins to take you down oh! onto the ground. Oh, goodness. <laughs> he hits the ground first, You, and then he, he tackles you. He on top of me. Now he's on top of you. Good. No, I, um, and <laughs> I tried, oh dear, I'm in the fetal position now. Uh, we're trying to figure out what's what going on. <laughs> All right, I get 
Gary get Gary Busey gets off of you. <laughs> I pick you up. That's harmless. Then Gary comes over to me. Now this we have audio on if you want. Yeah, let me see. <laughs> Fred's got to put it up, okay. but we have it. Here we go. He tackles me. <laughs> hey, here he gets. Oh yeah, and then hey, oh no. Now he gets me. <laughs> Watch this. I grab him around the neck. Right, you've got him. Yeah, okay. I got him around the neck. <laughs> you do have a headlock. And I got him in a headlock, and now I'm going to kick his freaking ass. He's trying to tickle you, so you grab <laughs> Yeah, I got him, I grab him. He's trying to grab my nuts, I think. Ow! <laughs> I released. Uh, I didn't know what he was up to. Jeez. Now he's, Look, now he's looking at the Robin. And I'm like, all right, that's it, guys. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Gary's crazy. That dude is nuts. nuts. <laughs> Gary Busey, get him back on the show, but put him in a tiger chair. <laughs> you know what? That's a fear factor. Yeah. Spend 10 minutes with Gary Busey. I'm not doing it. <laughs> but Robert's proof of what a dreadlock can do. I have never seen her move like that. <laughs> you move fast. I was out of here. I was not staying around for another. It's a good workout, I'll tell you that.